going on everybody? So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing uh, video of my brand new LE garden hose reel. Um, it is wall mountable. I'm going to mount it right outside of the garage um, just because my uh, spigot is uh, a little bit further from the driveway than I would like. Uh, so I've got this hose reel that I'm going to mount up right next to the garage and it's going to make washing the cars so much easier. Um, and I never wash the cars because it's such an inconvenience. So hopefully I will wash the cars more often once I get this uh, set up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it. Alright, here it is. Already you can tell it's uh, the quality is pretty solid. You know, it's nice and powder coated. Um, you know, can't really see any imperfections at first glance, so that's always a good thing. So I went with this hose reel. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time searching, just looking for uh, you know uh, ones that were reliable and weren't going to break on me, basically. I didn't want to go through the effort of getting something mounted to my brick walls, um, just end up with them having a, a leak, you know, in a few months or maybe even a year. So I came across these and they're kind of pricey, they're 200 plus dollars. Um, I think Black Friday, probably, you probably get them on sale for like maybe 20 bucks off or something. But they do have a 10 year warranty, which is super nice and they're just, you know, they just have solid reviews all around so looking forward to it hopefully uh won't have any issues with it for uh the foreseeable future okay, so those are the two side pieces it comes with a leader hose with the mountable handle instructions of course it comes with uh concrete fasteners um all the hardware that you need. This is the mounting plate right here. And uh, you know, some more hardware for the handle. All right, so let's go ahead and put this bad boy together. The installation is very straightforward. So what we're gonna do first is just connect uh, the two halves together. This appears to be the bottom half. So let's go ahead and connect it like so, just line up these three holes. <laughs> okay, so we've got three Allen head screws uh, right here. Let's go ahead and pop these guys in. So these are five millimeter Allen head bolts. So it says just, uh, Screw them in, but don't tighten them down. Okay. Oh, it f***ing comes with a Allen key right here. God damn it. Oh, I feel dumb. Okay, now it says tighten them up uh, once all three screws are in just so they're lined up correctly. So they supply a five millimeter uh, giant Allen head key. And it says obviously don't over tighten them. Okay, the next step is to get the handle on. The handle is right here. And again, we'll be Handle goes like so. The screw is attached to the uh, part that holds the handle. And we're just going to insert it uh, from the top like so. And then insert the screw from the bottom. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and tighten her down. Okay, 
Had enough. All right, next step is to mount the arm to the base. Okay, so the screws are already uh, attached to the arm. So I'm just going to unscrew those. Just break them loose like so. And these larger Allen head screws come with washers. Let's unscrew those. And you can mount the hose, uh, or you can mount the reel two different ways. So you can mount it like so, right? So that the hose reel sits like this, like so. Or you can flip it the other way so that the hose reel sits like this. I might actually mount it horizontally and I'll just pull it sideways, it'll just be easier and make more sense to me for my uh, specific setup. Let's go ahead and get this situated in the direction you want, and we're going to slip the, slip the, wash, uh, the nuts, the screws, through the mounting plate, like so. And we'll get it lined up before we tighten everything down. Next step is mounting the whole thing. So uh, basically what we're going to be doing is drilling four uh, holes with a, uh, they're going to be one and a half inches deep. Um, I'm going to be drilling with a five sixteenths inch hammer drill bit. Uh, so if you're mounting uh, into, you know, some studs, it comes with lag bolts and it also comes with the uh, concrete anchors. So I'm gonna be drilling this into a brick wall. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be drilling those 5 16th inch holes pretty short. So I'm gonna mount it relatively low um, so that it's like comfortable for me to wind it back up. I originally was gonna mount it up here, but then I'd be like that and it'd be pretty uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna mount it about yay high. Got uh, my uh, masonry drill bit marked at about one and a half inches. Got my hammer drill. So let's go ahead and drill some holes. Whenever uh, drilling concrete holes, you're gonna make sure these holes are really cleaned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum them. Installed, so let's go ahead and tighten them up. So now with this all mounted up, uh, we're going to go ahead and tighten up all of the bolts um, with an 11 millimeter socket or a 7 16th uh, socket. All we're going to do now is just run a hose through this tube right here. Um, run it to my spigot. Okay, so now with everything mounted up, uh, we can take our hose and we're going to shove it through the back. Just like so. We're going to shove the hose through here. And so now it is uh, exposed right here. We can stick our reel on. So, and you want to slide the strap through the square notch, just like so. We'll take the hose uh, brake. Um, this is what, uh, you can flip the switch and keep the hose from spinning. And then if you unlock it or unlatch it, then the reel will spin freely. We're gonna go ahead and stick it in the notch up here, like so. Now we're going to take uh, the actual part that hooks up to the hose and we're going to attach it onto 
our hose. So, okay. And we can push the hose all the way back. So then we're gonna tighten this hex screw. Okay, so that screw is nice and tight. Okay, now we're going to spin this to the 12 o'clock position and we're going to flip this brake on. So now the hose reel doesn't move. Um, I have quick disconnect fittings on my hose, so I'm gonna attach that now to the outlet right here. Otherwise, you would just thread a, uh, your hose straight onto here, onto the outlet. Now the strap is over here on the inside of the hose reel. Um, you can kind of see it right here. So if I flip that to the 12 o'clock position, now I can feed um, my hose through here. I'm going to feed the hose through this trap like so. So we're going to feed it through here and then out the opening just like so. Let connect the fitting on here. Okay, so now I can connect the hose. strap so that the hose doesn't move. So when you're reeling it in you want the hose for the brake off so that the hose will reel up nice and freely. When you're pulling it you leave the brake on. done and you're ready to reel it up you just release the brake and start reeling those in. And just hit the brake when it's all done. Good to go, not going anywhere. So yeah that's it guys. Uh, not too bad of an install. Uh, the directions are great, very straightforward and uh, pretty simple. Um, everything seems to be pretty high quality and there's a 10 year warranty so uh, if you're in the market for a hose reel uh, don't hesitate to pick one of these LE hose reels up. Thanks for watching.